Okay, good morning, everyone. So for uh, today's class, I uh, need to be able to discuss again what the uh, research topic is, especially for those <clears throat> whose um, topic has not been approved yet. And for those who would still need to um, polish the topics uh, to be converted later on into titles. So let me just share a screen. <laughs> Share screen. Okay, Sige. Uh, can, can, uh, is the uh, is the slide presentation um, is it can it be seen? Uh, please give me a thumbs up if it can be seen. Okay, it's visible. Okay, so for today's topic. Um, I'd like to talk about research ideas. So as you can uh, take a look at the topic that was assigned to you, or for those who doesn't have a topic yet, uh, please uh, be able to, to do it immediately as uh, what I've told you before already. Now, uh, talking about finding a general topic area, now worst thing uh, you may do in searching for a topic, I heard, for example, this treatment is good, so I want to do a research to prove it. For example, you have uh, you have seen that this product is really good. Now, what can you do to be able to prove it? Excuse me. Uh -huh. Okay. So there are three types of topics. There's a general topic. General topics, for example. Uh, you would like to find out job stress, personality, learning, motivation. General lang talaga to. That's why in some of the... Uh, oh, excuse me. Dali ah. Nagsusneeze lang ako. Sandali. Sorry. Okay. So that's why in... Uh, in, in some of the uh, topics that, uh, I mean, I made comments, okay, I, I was putting there too broad, but too complex. And that's why you need to be able to further clarify it. Okay, those are general topics. Now, topics about groups, pwede naman yun. Let's say preschool, uh, children. You'd like to talk about cats. You'd like to talk about turtles. You'd like to talk about grandmothers here in the Philippines, police officers. You'd like to talk about uh, teachers. Now, topics about a particular behavior, bullying, math anxieties, overeating, pwede yun. But there are some topics na uh, marami nang gumawa. For example, bullying, math anxiety also. Overeating, medyo konti lang. You, you can focus on uh, behaviors as uh, a topic as well. And then uh, personal interest. It could be your favorite subject, the course, a topic. For example, using computers in teaching. Um, also, you, you can talk about information or observation. Any behavior that arouses your curiosity can be part of a topic. For example, there's an example here, lack of black women in science majors or let's say uh, male uh, fee, lack of female a uh, lack of male teachers in the preschool because uh, normally in the preschool you would always see uh, female teachers. Bakit kaya walang male? Uh, practical problems, uh, problems in your class, uh, in in a school, in in a job. Let's say six students failed in my last semester's course. Uh, bakit kaya? No pop-ups like fleeting thoughts or uh, uh, let's say wala naman tayong apples here in, in, in the Philippines. Let's say um, uh, kunyari um, 
uh, you've noticed that uh, a particular mango, uh, mangoes, let's say in campus, kunyari may mga mango trees natin dito, hindi pa namumunga. Well, in fact, many of the mangoes, mango trees here in the Philippines, marami na silang bunga as of this time. So that could also be um, other sources of research topics, of course, from the readings that you get from the books, from magazines, from websites, and even, uh, let's say, cartoons, advertisements, everywhere. And even theories, theories that predict a behavior, uh, opposing theories for the same behavior. Uh, example niya, let's say, uh, the general or the multiple intelligence uh, theories, learning styles of students today. Okay. So uh, now that uh, those sources have been given, you may be able to use those ideas okay, and hopefully be able to talk to me again in our consultation. So again, uh, your personal interest, balikan natin yan, information, observation, again, in any behavior that arouses your curiosity. Let's see, but bear in mind that you will be doing qualitative research. Again, uh, you will have to make use of your five senses. You're not going to measure anything. You're not going to use numbers, statistics. All we have to do uh, is to be able to describe that using qualitative terms. The practical behaviors, fleeting thoughts that you have in mind. You can get it, get it with readings and theories. And now, let's try to check on evaluating that particular problem. Ano ba yan? Effectiveness. Can I find an answer to it? Okay. Let's say, meron dito an example. Why are Black and Latin students behind white and Asians academically. Okay. Um, ano ba yan? Uh, need or importance ba yan? The significance? Is there a difference between freshman and junior students in their color preferences? Originality. Uh, ano nagawa na ba yan? Which one is more effective? Phonic or holistic approach when you read? Is parental involvement effective in students' progress? Does technology help learning? Now, uh, yung feasibility niya, you talk about access to the data, is it competent, the cost, the time, the difficulties, and even people who would be able to cooperate in your research. That's why when you say, remember in the, 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 the four-way test that I've told you, one is feasibility, kaya bang uh, research yun. Now, there, there are aspects in uh, the selection of the topic replicating a research. Pwede naman yun, but you just you have to be able to look for the, the comments and the recommendations in a research. You have to justify why you are repli uh, replicating the research. When your research is just a little different from the earlier studies, your whole literature should be focused on that little difference. And the third one, you cannot show the importance of the initial research and not talking about the importance of your addition. So again, you have to be able to discuss and talk about that research and why you will uh, still be able to do it. Now, uh, hold on class. Okay, class, give me two minutes, ha, sinali lang, uh, there's a parent.
Okay, sorry, I'm back. So, um, in the back. Okay, now students' projects. For example, if you want to solve a very important problem quickly, then you need to be able to try to, to list uh, those things that you'll be able to do to be able to solve the problem. So they choose very broad general topics. Kaya I've been telling you when you put a topic, kailangan very specific yun. Uh, there can be provocative topics. If you strongly believe something is good, perhaps not a good topic for research, since you already know it is good and effective. Meaning, if you already know the technology is indeed helpful to humanity, ano pa ba yung gagawin mong research doon? So you have to be able to clear that up. If we know, we know that bullying is not good. So what else? What other things that you'd like to be able to find out when you talk about bullying? For example, uh, falling in love. Um, what about it? Okay. Be more specific. What do you like to find out? Okay. Let's say sticking uh, with the first topic. So you may change that okay, and be able to talk to your professor or your teacher immediately para nang sa ganong, eh, we'll be able to discuss it. Familiar topics. Um, is too safe or too easy? Something familiar or used in another subject? Another one, literature review, will be all positive. So dapat, uh, it should be a balance when you try to look for literature and trying to look for uh, giving you prior knowledge to the topics. And so important rin yun. Now, when you try to look for a research article, okay, uh, there are differences among the topics when you talk about the problem, the purpose, and the question. For example, the topic is all about distance learning. Later on, uh, ano ba yung problema doon sa distance learning? The lack of students in uh, uh, the lack of students in distance uh, in distance classes, or uh, the main uh, research problem is that uh, students motivation when you talk about online distance learning, and the purpose statement uh, to study what students do not attend uh, distance. Uh, Education classes at the community college. Okay. Pero itong research problem, uh, purpose statement, and research questions, we will have one activity later on. No, pagka okay na, na approved na yung title niyo, we will now go to the specifics of this one. Okay. There are primary and secondary sources that you have to understand. Now, a primary source is a first hand report of observations or research results written by an individual who actually conducted the research and made the observations. Ito yung sa mga journal articles, thesis, and dissertation papers. These are primary sources of data that is uh, significant and relevant to your study. Dito talaga um, the so-called uh, primary sources would definitely help you out in explaining later on your research. Now, there are secondary source or sources. Now, this is described as um, the summary of another person's work. Now, it is written by someone who did not participate in the research or observations being discussed. So ito yung parang, let's say, opinion, uh, an opinion of a person regarding another Let's say topic or research. So primary source and a secondary source. Now the differences between the two, in secondary sources, it can be a textbook. No? Definition of terms, uh, summarizes 10 years of research, citing several important studies, a few paragraphs. There can be a meta-analysis, for example, provides a great overview of an area by combining the results from a number of studies. And then we also have the primary sources. Now, individual research reports that fill 10 to 15 pages in journals are other summarized in one or two sentences in secondary sources. Again, um, when, when you say uh, uh, sources, normally in research, ang binibigyan ng premium palagi is the primary sources. 
Okay, but of course, secondary sources can be used, especially if there are really limited uh, sources of information with your particular studies. Now, start with the best way is the secondary sources and then choose a few primary sources for more details in a more specific research questions. So what I'm trying to say here, kung nahihirapan kayo with the primary sources, you might want to look at the secondary sources. Now start with a, pwede rin naman, you can start with a primary article or journal articles to easily come up with the tentative research questions and then search the literature to come up with specific questions. So later on na yung gagawin natin, yung, uh, yung questions ninyo and uh, of course the, uh, yeah, the specific questions and the objectives. Now later on, you will have to write your uh, literature review. Okay? You have to make a list of unrelated and related but fragmented research articles. Ito yung uh, pagkatapos ma-proof yung title ninyo, yung 10 3, 1 activity. The 10 titles, uh, research titles, then the top three and your top choice, and then later on your formulated uh, uh, research title at saka kung anong research design yun. Is it a case study? Is it an ethnography, feminology? Or is it a grounded theory? Okay. Um, the purpose of this literature review is very important uh, because the, each research is part of an existing body of knowledge. Your study should be a logical extension of past research. Now, new research grows out of the old. Okay, so merong, for example, um, merong, merong previous uh, research that has been done, then, you know, uh, there are other branches of that research as seen here in the figure. So you may use a literature map before you start writing your literature review. Gagawin natin to later on, but I'll be able to help you out in terms of creating your RRL, RRL grid and tawag ko doon. So nakatable yun. So yeah, you just have to fill it up. Okay? Um, this is an example of, let's say, studying abroad. Uh, what, what do you mean by that? Okay? So... Ayan, nag-map siya doon kung ano yung gusto niyang malaman about studying abroad or the study abroad programs. Now, the purpose of your literature review later on is to provide the elements needed for directing your own research study. Your re literature review, or ito tinatawag na preliminary literature review. Okay, kailangan uh, later on scan over the sources that you will have. Should help you to predict the purpose of your research before you say it. So darating tayo dyan. And sometimes there's a mismatch of the goal and the literature review. Now the goal of the study, meaning uh, the effect, for example, the study or the effect of internet on aggressive behavior, then the literature, teenagers and their social issues, etc. So there are certain tips that we have to take into, so, into consideration. Uh, start with a textbook or something to get the whole picture okay, of your research, uh, of your review. Uh, make list of the correct terms, keywords, subject words. Uh, later on to, pag uh, doon na tayo sa literature review grade, and find key people or key authors. Okay? Ito yung uh, uh, the URL or the database. Ang uh, binigay ko sa inyo, I think, was the Google... Uh, 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 ano ba tayo dito? Uh, Google Scholar, okay, which is uh, very, very good in terms of looking for uh, literature. And uh, get a complete reference for uh, later on the, uh, the, the, the title or the topic. Um, the website is very important, the URL. Uh, further research, you, can may, you may be able to take a look at it in the uh, uh, in the Google search or the Google Scholar search and you will have to criticize, modify, or extend an existing research. No, uh, in, in criticizing it, especially in the abstract, you'll be able to, to notice later on that some of the journal articles that you get uh, via seeing, checking in the abstract or the summary might not be uh, related to what you're going to do. So, eliminate yung nakagad yun. Then later on, you will have to combine all of those information that says about your research 
and also yung mga contrasting uh, or the contrast uh, existing results. So, magsasamain nyo rin yun. Hopefully, you'll be able to come up with a very good literature. And what is important is that you have to look for gaps or contradictions. Ito yung mga gaps ito or contradictions. Ito yung mahanap nyo when you're doing your literature review uh, later on to be able to explain your research. Okay? And so, I think uh, uh, hopefully that will help you out. No? Uh, by now, dapat klaro na yung ano ninyo, klaro na yung topic ninyo. Okay? So, as we, when we get to meet on, uh, uh, when we get to meet, uh, let me nothing, tomorrow, Okay, I was hoping that uh, you'll be able to uh, further explain already your topic, and by Friday, hopefully, ano na, okay na yung mga research titles niyo, so as we can move on already to the other parts of doing research, which is the introduction, the problem statement, and the research questions already. So by next week, hopefully. You know, we can uh, already start doing your introduction, the problem statement, and the research questions itself. Okay, so um, I think that's it for our our meeting for for this morning. So uh, please work on with your topics again. Uh, again, uh, with the five topics, kung meron na don, you have to clarify it. Kung ano yon, kung wala pa, you have to explain each of uh, those topics clearly on what you want okay para it would be easier later on to uh, to uh, formulate it into an actual research title okay sige please uh, switch on your, your your cameras except for those who message me that they are unable to uh, switch on their cameras because of uh, uh, issues in their internet for our attendance for this morning okay Okay, sige. Uh, okay, one, two, three. Okay, so uh, any concerns with your topics? Uh, anything, uh, please uh, message me in the FB Messenger. Okay, sige. Thank you, everyone. I'll be uploading itong lecture in our uh, in the YouTube for references. Sige. Thank you very much.